Ready? Yeah. All right. Very good. 45. Welcome. Episode 45. Michael Jordan, back with the Bulls. All right. Now, Courtney. Yes, sir. You were on deck this week for selecting I got called the whiskey. You got, from the dugout. You got called up. All right, so we have Town Branch uh, <laughs> via Lexington, Kentucky, according to the label here. It is a small batch, straight rye whiskey. Now, was there a reason why you picked this out, aside from the fact that it's 15 pounds? It's beautiful. Maybe even heavier than I'm that? A, as I was telling you guys in, in you know, pre-show, I'm a... I am a whore for a nice looking bottle. This is an incredibly heavy. It's is it that? It is kind of heavy. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is this is very weighted. Mm. For sure, for sure. 100%. All right. So, the city of Lexington, Kentucky was built on the banks of the town branch of Elkhorn Creek. Its water has provided power for early in- industry as well as limestone filtered water for distilling. Being the first new distillery built in Lexington since Prohibition, Town Branch Distillery is proud to revive the city's distilling tradition. Okay. A little mm. history lesson there. Uh, as far as tastes, we're looking at spicy floral aroma, light notes of vanilla and oak, peppery, warm, dry finish mm. is what we should be Let's hope it's not getting into. Too potpourri-esque. Yeah, we'll find out. Um, we'll review this in a little bit. Just good. Yeah, we're going to start drinking. Yeah, we're going to pour, pour glasses. Basically what he's saying. <clears throat> pour glasses and get into this. Um, why don't we change things up a little bit this week in the sense that let's do watch lists first. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Just to try something different. Wow. Well, well, excuse me. Okay. I don't excuse know what you're doing now. If I'm being honest, what? there's not, <clears throat> I don't feel like the watch lists, <laughs> mine, are, mine are not all that different. They're pretty much the mine same. Are, mine so are the I, same. I just yeah. know that you have not, yeah. Yours are probably pretty moderate too. Uh, what I watched, I caught up on Abbott, The Last of Us, Tree Finished Trees, in, which is terrible. Yeah. Um, yeah, was it? Okay. I didn't, I didn't get too much this week. Busy week. What was your favorite thing? Anything good? Oh, Last of Us. It's Last been, of Us. Like, just, out, just knocking it out the park. Did yeah, you, Did you get good. your PS5 yet? Yeah, did no. you? Great question. No. Where are we at with the PS5? So, just... Why don't you update everybody on that? All right, so I Because now we're going one. week to week. Okay. Oh, look how he settles in. <laughs> okay. I, I did find one. I did find one. I think I'm going to go with Walmart because it's, uh, it's 385 so it's like 15% off. I'm just right now, my daughter's birthday party is coming up. So I'm trying. And she to, doesn't want a PS5? No, she's. Did you ask her if she wants a PS5? She, I don't, she doesn't even know what a PS5 Have is. Have you pushed the idea of a Man, PS5? Yeah, sounds like you could easily convince. No, I got I to gotta kick out like. Sometimes the best gifts are the ones you aren't expecting. You know what yeah. I mean? I got to kick out a lot of bread for this uh, place that we're having the party. So okay. I'm just going to, you know, just wait it out. Yeah. And, you know, keep it in my cart. Okay. And then once. Now, are you nervous 15% is going to go away? No. You're just keeping no. it in the cart. I'm just keeping it in the cart. Does that work at Walmart? Normally, don't they, like kick, been, it, don't they it, kick it out of the cart? It's been in point? my cart for like two weeks. Yeah, but is that holding a PS5 for you, do you think? Or is that? I don't uh, Like at some point. Definitely is it not. a third party seller? No, it's Walmart. It seems odd. I feel like at some point it was food out of your car. Okay, it's no longer fifteen percent off. <laughs> there it is. But it is still only. It is still retail price. It is still the act. The the three ninety nine. Okay. Well, it's That's a good cool. thing they've not inflated it yet. Yeah, they haven't inflated it. God so. bless. Yep. And I'm 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 pretty sure. Like, look, I can get this thing on Tuesday. Like, I'm not doing this with you guys. Like, I can just do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can just get it right now. Yeah. Uh, no. Um. Uh, I I got to be a responsible parent. All right. Take so care now of babies you're first. you're backing off the PS5. For you were all for, in two weeks ago. Yeah. Well, I'll finish the Easing show. Your way out. I get it. Finish the show. Know what I'm dealing with. By the time I finish the show. Oh, you're going to finish the show. Yeah. And then Um, I can jump in. Then I'll jump into it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I like it. Yeah. I was working with a little angst and and being a little overzealous. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, I need it now. I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just relax. I get it. I'm like halfway through the game right now. I mean, I've played it a dozen times. Yeah, but you're playing it again. I'm super familiar with it. But yeah, I'm playing it again. I'm about halfway through. I get very itchy for it now after the show. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah you want to get back and yeah. get that? Yeah. They're doing a great job, It's man. a very fun experience to have, like the show, and then you can like kind of go replay the episode. And because I didn't play the cool. game, I've been watching the post uh, 
those kind of posts. Little post videos? Uh, on, yeah. Yeah, where they and, break down the episodes. Yeah, they break down the episodes, yeah. and kind of now they're kind of talking about the differences between yep. the show and the game. And it's very good. Uh, I got a little history on the clickers. Yep. Um, I'm really, really... Um, I'm, I, it's crazy. My algorithm now has been like, what do they, what do they call the fungi? Uh, set a, set a, the, the fungi that causes this. Oh, starts oh, with a C. I can't remember yeah. the word. Um, um, but I, now my my algorithm is all bugs that are. Josh, uh, I'll figure this out in a second. That are. Uh, yeah, that is right. Yeah, I see these all the time now too. It's yeah. <laughs> What is the word? Um, it's like the so, type of like yeah. it's the type of like fungus or the type of infection that it is. Mm-hmm. Cordyceps. 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 Yeah, there yeah. it is. Boom. And uh, so it. my algorithm on Instagram is all full of bugs. Cordyceps all over the place. Yeah, all, right. all the time. And it's nasty. Yeah, it's it very really, very nasty. It's thing. very nasty. Um, but it's just interesting, like, like that that concept is now they're applying it to humans and like how that works and like the interconnectivity of it. Yeah. Just, oh man, they're doing a great job. Yeah. yeah. It's really, a it's really a solid. new take. On zombies that I just was never uh, acclimated to. Yeah, you know, you you know, it's, you got Walking Dead, World War Z, uh, and I Am Legend, which were more kind of like vampires than they were <clears throat> zombies. Um, and you know, it just kind of adds a new element to the the zombie genre of like it isn't just this type of zombie that bites you it's like yeah. no now now we're working with a network of sure of of zombies man it's kind of it's, it's and it's dope. almost yeah. as if like they're not to in an extent like to an extent it's almost as if they're not zombies in the traditional <laughs> yeah. sense it's more of like this fungus that's kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. Just now it's just taking over taking people. over yeah. things and like you know kind of trying yeah. to consume the world yeah. In its own way. It's yeah. like not, yeah. So like them biting people and like all of that, it's way more grounded yeah. in like reality. In a when sense. you think of, when you, and they, and they still call it infected because like I, essentially I guess you are. Yeah. But it's not necessarily, I guess it's not necessarily an infection. Like you are. I guess you're over. You're, it's like it's a, parasitic in, in a sense. Yeah, it's like taking over your body to grow something else and yeah. become something else. Right, it's an interesting concept. And you see that in what the clickers become. Yes, correct. Yeah, they yeah. Just like kinda, the longer you kind of bake with it, the yeah. more wild you become. So, give me um, maybe a, some some insight. Is are there and we'll, you know this is probably jumping the gun. Are there more advanced? There are. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited about that. There are. There are. Um, yeah. I won't spoil anything by saying it, but there are more advanced versions. It never goes off the rails, though. It's not like a Resident Evil thing where all of a sudden it's like we've got right. anatomically like different creatures and like craziness coming out after you. Right. So it's all it's all within the same kind of, uh, you know, wheelhouse, if you will. Yeah. But certainly more advanced. Have you listened to the podcast at all? No, I didn't know. Yeah, that so they have a companion. HBO does this with their bigger shows. Mm-hmm. Um, they have like a companion podcast that goes along with it, where they have the. Um, they actually have in this case the original voice actor from the show, the, or from the video game. Sorry, the original voice actor from the show, um, and the show creator and the game creator. So Craig and Neil. Yes. Okay. Um, and so he, the voice actor, does the kind of the moderation, but they break down every episode. And so obviously there's two episodes out, so there's two episodes of the podcast. I'm going to check it out. How long Very is it? Very good, worth listening to. They're about 40 minutes. Oh, that's good. That's take. a good listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good listen. They're, sh- they're not too long. They're pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, but it's fun because obviously they're affiliated with HBO, so they have access to like all the audio yeah, files. Yeah, 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 all like that. They can, yeah. yeah, it's it's well produced. It's well done. So definitely worth all right, checking yeah. out, man. What's yeah, your bro. What's your... Uh, What's your take on it so far? Take on what? The game or the oh, sorry, the show? show? Yeah. The show it's great. Okay. It's really uh it's really good. as someone that's played the game. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of converting the game into a show. When you if you play the game and you know the game really well, the amount of tie-ins and yeah. the small things that they do are just scattered constantly okay. throughout the show. So All right. it's very it is very rewarding to have played the game and to then have yeah. watched the show. All right, now one one more thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they have taken the concept 
I understand that a lot of what they have taken and turned into TV has a lot to do with like the DLCs. Is that correct? Mm. Um, so <clears throat> yes and no. It's it's not like the DLC that you're referring to is basically a chapter that you play. It came out between game one and two. Mm. And it's basically like a little prologue chapter that gives you a little bit of history into some of the characters' lives, like kind of before some things had happened. Um, and yeah, so that the story from that is a part of the show okay. in the grand scheme of things. But yeah, it's not like a... It's so good. Okay, how? Yeah, it's great. Like, yeah, no, yeah, the, yeah. it's it's worth playing. Um, God, I can't forget. I can't remember the name of it. Um, there's a name for it, like the separate game. It's mm. not a separate game, but it's like a the, I'm sorry, the Last of Us DLC pack. Oh, it's a different yeah. game. It's like okay. Last of Us Part One. Then there's a different. There's like a separate chapter that you can get. It's like a prologue. left behind. Left behind. Left yeah. Behind. Okay, yeah, I've yeah. heard about that. Yep. So okay, so and that you, story is in the show. So, and I'm understanding, we got some, some critters. Um, and I saw something today about they're going to try and, they're definitely going to get renewed for season two. How yeah. far, in your opinion, do you, do you think that they're going to go? Do you think they're going to go, like the, this series is just going to encompass... Uh, Season one, uh, uh, season season one is just going to encompass the the first game, or is it going to? You think they're going to like go through and it just be like? Yeah. Do you think season one I will be they, the first game and season two will be the said, second game? Yeah, I think they've already said that the first show is the first yeah. game. Basically. Okay. So everything now, whether or not that's just a little bit of misdirection, and obviously where the show ultimately lands, TBD. Um, but it seems like it's on track or on pace with that. Got it. In my, okay. in my opinion. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I guess it's weird because when you play the game, it obviously takes a lot longer to get through some of these different chapters because, yeah. you know, they're, they're obviously cutting out a lot of, like, the gameplay and exploration. So, um, yeah, it, the, it's hard to nail down the pacing 100%, but I'm, I'm guessing that they'll wind up pretty close to the end of the first game uh, by the end of Season 1. And then I think it's very TBD on what happens with season two. I think with the success of the show, I, I would imagine HBO probably wants to stretch things out a little bit longer. Um, and because there isn't a third game right now, you're kind of only left with one more season if that's your right. if that's your format. And the games are pretty expansive. Like the show moves really fast. You know, right. I, I think that that can be a good and a bad thing. So there's pl probably plenty of opportunity to slow things down. Yeah a little bit and to expand on some of that stuff. Yeah. But I guess, you know, if you really want to rush through it, like if that's, um, Craig Mason, the guy that does the show, he said that he, that they don't want to spend a lot of time on the shows. Like he doesn't want to, I don't think he wants to like commit like 10 years to this. I don't think he's, yeah, of course. Yeah. I think he's not doing like a game of Thrones thing. I think this is going to And I don't be, think, you know, in the, in the, you know, in the vein of like what happened with Game of Thrones. Yeah. I think you, you know, like there was a, there was another show. Uh, there was another show that was like one and done. Uh, Lovecraft Country. Yeah. It was one season because they really, they, they covered everything in the book. Yeah. And I think the, 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 the producers at HBO were like, we're not going to pursue yeah. another season because there is no sequel. Yeah. We could continue, but that's just not that's, it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be appropriate to do that without there being an actual sequel. Yeah, it, would, it now would be would, would fall under the realm of now we got to have original writers to continue original ideas. Sure. And, yeah. So yeah. and Neil. So I would probably look at it as maybe like an maybe like it's probably better to look at it like a limited series that's just going to be over a couple of seasons rather than a show that's just continually. Yeah. Going maybe. Yeah. Um, but Neil Neil Druckmann, who's the guy who wrote the first game and the second game, he is he is writing the show and he directed mm, episode mm. two. So this last episode, he directed that episode. Um, he's on the post show. Yeah, correct. Yeah, he yeah, talks he's on the about post show and uh, he's on the, the adaptations of like how to how they went about like taking the the concept in the game. Yeah, 
and then grounding it and then adapting it into a real life sure. environment. Yeah, so it's I mean, all sick, man. You it's, could have some. This is a unique situation where you could have somebody who is deviating from material or writing additional material because they yeah. are the original right. author of it. So it's a little, it's a little different than like a Game of Thrones thing, maybe I think. But. Yeah. In either case, ah, uh, great show. No, very, we're gonna have hard on for this show for the it. next, yeah. next, next couple next, episodes. Uh, so be prepared. Weeks. Yeah, seven weeks for sure. For yeah. sure. Um, anything else on your watch list uh, that was that stood out to you? Charlie Cox is in Treason on Netflix. Okay. Started out heavy, ended up trash. Yep. Didn't in, didn't enjoy the the ending. Uh, back on my Abbott train. And it's just good, man. It's more of like a lighthearted version of The Office that takes place in elementary school. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't, I don't know if you know, but the showrunner used to work at the first thing. No. Yeah, she Which was a big, uh, I want to say she did. Like in, one that in, we know? In New York. No, uh, no, no. Okay, okay. She uh, like posted a picture and started a thread of like, look, you know, all the Apple employees that are successful in Hollywood. Oh, uh, nice. <clears throat> and it was just like a bunch of people and it, like a lot of like producers and stuff like that. But it was cool to see uh, a lot of um, fruit stand people. Yeah, like just like in that thread and like yeah, something else. I think one guy was actually um, uh, on uh, Insecure. Okay, and what was his name? Ghetto Yoda, Thug Yoda. Uh, yeah, I Thug Yoda. I think his name is like Tristan yeah. Winger. Um, he actually he actually followed me back on Twitter and we interact sometimes. He's really cool. But um, he he worked at the fruit stand, so it was oh, like nice. a few people. Like on there, uh, that you would if you are like you know you pay attention to like post credits and stuff yeah. like you see those names you're like sure. oh wow like they worked at the Apple Store so that was cool um, so yeah yeah if you get a chance to check out Abbott um, check it out one of the characters is uh, from Baltimore so that's funny he talks about <laughs> Baltimore pizza being wet and it sucks I think I've talked about that before but yeah, yeah. yeah. we've we've had this conversation yeah. I'm pretty sure about the pizza thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's our own little pizza gate. Yeah. We got going on here in Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore pizza stinks. Um <laughs> anything sucks. else? Was that it? That was really it. Okay. Man. I think uh, I did a lot of content this week, a lot of YouTube. It's great. And you? It's awesome. Uh I wrapped up Barry. Did Ooh. I say that last week? Was that last week? I think no. I think I you were it. like almost. I was there. On season two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so we wrapped up Barry, got that new season for that coming up soon. So looking forward to that. Yeah. Um Barry is a little bit of a grind. I Isn't feel it? Like by the time you get to the end, it's you, you're just having a lot of fun in the beginning of that show. And yeah, then it kind of professionally just dark becomes more comedy. of a bummer. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's funny. It's very very well done, and uh, I enjoy it. But Did you enjoy? Uh, so you finished it all the way. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That and correct me if I'm wrong. Is it the second to last episode or the last episode? Where is the the chase scene? The highway chase scene. Oh yeah, um, I want to say that's like the second to last episode. Yeah, something. yeah. Did you did you enjoy that one? I had my anxiety like through the roof. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was okay. good. Uh, it was good. I mean, all that stuff. It it's more of the character development stuff and what they choose to do with certain characters. Right. It stresses yeah. me out the most. Yeah, more than it is those like scenes Golly, like that. Barry. But, yeah, um, Glass Onion, which was God, a holdover from the I prior keep week to watch that, yeah. on Netflix. Yeah, um, you watched the? Did you watch the first? Yeah, Times the, watch yeah. Times Out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I watched that a week ago, but I skipped it last week. We didn't talk about it. Uh, I thought it's good. It's good. It's if you enjoy the murder mystery yeah. concept, yeah. it's great. It's right up that you know. Right up that alley. I thought the first one might have been a little bit better. Okay. Well, you know, um, you it, I don't know. I, or maybe it's just like the vibe of the first one I liked a little bit better. This one is a little, can be a little goofy at times, in yeah. my opinion. But worth a watch. Certainly worth a watch. Okay. Um, and I don't think there is anything else. Josh, is there anything else in that watch list for me? Servant. Oh, Servant. You went back to that? It's the last season. Oh, God. And like it does this thing where like it's the last. If season. you've watched it, Apple TV will always kind of like slide it in there, like mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. episode, like blah blah blah. I've like seen the thumbnail, one. Like, I've seen yeah. one episode of season four. Uh, I think there's like two or three episodes that are out by this point, um, so I'm not caught up on it. But yes, I have watched all the other. It is a show that I will go back to when I've kind of run out of things to watch and I'm looking for something. Uh, I'll go back to it. This is, I normally wait for it to finish Mm -hmm. before I Mm -hmm. turn it on, just so I can kind of binge it. Because they're pretty quick episodes. They're like 30 minutes. Right. Yeah. 
They're not long at all. You can get to it. They do it if you want to grind it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a very, uh, that show gets increasingly odd um, from just a production standpoint. That's why I quit. It's not, even not even, the story not so much. It's like there's weird production decisions that they make um, that I always, I don't know. It's just weird. It's weird. But, you know, for Apple, it's what they got right this second. And, you know, until they get the. Maybe I'll pick it back up. What's the other show? What's that other show that we liked so much? It's it's just like the shock factor went away and it got more goofy than it did scary. For me, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was just like, all right, this is getting. That's the problem, though, I feel like traditionally with a scary show. That goes on that long. Yes, because eventually you get accustomed to the horror tropes in the show. Right, in the yeah, 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 it, yeah. It loses its... You know, Shock value. You, yeah, yeah, you kind of get yeah. how they do it. Like, it, you know, uh, you, like, you get oh, the, the playbook. There's going to be somebody You read the playbook there, like, a little yeah. bit after, after a while. So oh, she's going to pop up under the table. Yeah, like, that's oh, kind of okay, what's happening right, with that yeah, show, yeah, yeah. more or less. All right, very good. Very good. Um, I think Oof. that completes... The watch lists. A change so, of pace got me going. Yeah, it gets you a little worked up on the front end. Yeah. Now, I the show notes for this week, I've contributed very little to outside of- I slammed some, some together this yeah, week. I yeah, I saw you You really piled on, which is great. I did some Oscar shout outs. And I did some uh, Razzie did shout outs. The, the so Oscar that's good. nominations <laughs> that's good. came out on Tuesday, yesterday, I think it was. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, a lot of so, good stuff. Yeah, so I added some interesting- Let's be classy and do the Oscars first. Interesting mentions. <laughs> Um, and then we can be trashy. We can run through the list of stuff that's on there. <laughs> yeah, I don't right. recall all of it, although I do know that Top Gun got a nomination for Best Picture, which I thought was pretty wild. Uh, it's not something Why that is I, that wild? Well, it's the greatest movie in 2000. Uh, that is that is fair. 22. But when you stack it against the others that are in that category, it oh, does feel very what out else of is, place. Josh, what, what else along, is in the, Along or, with uh, Avatar. So Avatar is also in that category. Oh, yeah. it just came out. Correct, correct. I agree 100%. But if you take those two movies and then stack them against the It had rest, five days <laughs> in theaters yeah. before six. Sure. Avatar gets nominated for a lot of things. It did when the first one came out. There's a lot of, there's a ton of money behind that movie and getting it nominated. And James Cameron's just all, sucking he's off James always going to find a way in to Ready? the Oscars. It's yeah. always going to happen. You got Top Gun, Woman Talking. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Okay. The Banshee of Isherin. In Isherin. In in Isherin, yeah. Yeah, that one. Uh, Triangle of Sadness. The Fablemans. Okay. All Quiet on the Western Front. All right. Avatar. Elvis. What? Mm -hmm. Tar. Yep. Tar. Tar. Tar? Yeah. Tar. Yeah, tar. T A R? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a little thing over the A. So I said, tar. Tie. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that list is, in, and there's, it's interesting. They interviewed Steven Spielberg about this list, and he, this is kind of an old call out, but he was very happy to see that Top Gun had made it into the list and Avatar movies like that because he felt that The Dark Knight should have been nominated for he Best Picture. He said should have got a nod. And it did yeah. not get nominated, so he feels as if the Academy, I guess, is. Being more widening, loose, yeah, uh, a little the bit scope of vindication, a bit. yeah. So that's pretty. Uh, I appreciate that. I mean, I appreciate the Top Gun made it in. I, I definitely think it's that. If you were to, it's a proud purchase if, of mine. If you were to poll the country, I feel as if <laughs> that would be the one that wins Best Picture, only because yeah. n- nobody has seen the other movies on that list. Outside of maybe Avatar, Avatar which and maybe everything, uh, and everywhere. everything yeah. everywhere was really good. Once. That yeah. movie is pretty fantastic. I I'm, I'm gonna say it might be a little too weird for them to pull the. I just appreciate the for that, but it'd be good it if they did. did. Yeah, I appreciate the imagination, the you know, imaginative uh, uh, factors in it. Yeah. I, I appreciate, you know, the you know, predominantly Asian cast. It got eleven nominations. Yes, yeah, it man. did. Yeah. Uh, I think it got the most. Yeah, I believe yeah, so. The most nominations was for that. It which did it, it did its thing. It it's did what probably it was supposed deserving to do. of it. Yeah. Probably deserving of it. It came so, right on the heels of like all the multiverse stuff that mm-hmm. Marvel was doing. Yeah. So to see like another director and studio kind of have another take on multiverse stuff that's not attached to any IP, kind of an original idea 
was just very interesting and it was fulfilling. I, it was good. It was silly. It was fun. Yeah. It was like it was it was dope. You know, it, I enjoyed it, man. Hot dog fingers all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Very solid. Very yeah. solid. So it'll be interesting to see if it sweeps the Oscars. But yeah. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I think it's, it's, I think it's gonna be it'll a little, win something. It'll win something. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna come in and do a clean sweep though. I think the Fablemans, which I've not seen, my guess is though, is that that's gonna yeah, that's gonna wipe out. That'll wipe things out. I think Steven Steven Spielberg. It's an odd movie. In I don't know. I just when it came out, I don't remember it getting much traction. Then all of a sudden, it's like all over the Oscars, and everyone's going on and on about it. It's hard not to seven nominations. Yeah. Yeah, I, mm. like again, I don't. But who's seen it? Wait, what? Is, this is the this is the Oscars. Oscars. What do we just have? The Golden, Golden Globes. Globes. Golden, Golden Globes. Globes. Okay, got it. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, didn't we just? Okay, all right. It's all made up, and the points don't matter. That's right. There you go. Oh yeah, we'll everywhere see. all at once. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I was surprised. And Top Gun, I don't think, got nominated for all that much. I think Best Picture. I mean, I yeah, I think it got a few other six. things. Yeah. yeah. Not as many, in yeah. contrast. Um, I, listen. I would like to see Top Gun get it. That's my honest Personally, opinion. Personally, yeah. Editing, yeah. original score, uh, Best Picture, sound, visual effects, and writing adapted screen play. Very good. It's, it's good. worth it. It should. All right. Did I have any other notes on there about the Oscars? I think I might have had a few, but we might have already covered them. Um, I think there were some counts the about Batman. Who got, Batman. Yeah. Oh, the Batman. The Batman got. A oh yeah, it got some for hair and makeup. It looked good. Weirdly enough, I don't. Colin, because because of, of Colin, it was because of Colin. Colin Farrell. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it's a penguin. Right. Yeah. I was thinking back, and I was like, what? Yeah. How does how does that happen? But mm. that's right. And I think Brendan Ferry should got one for the whale there. I'd like to Not see Brendan Ferry himself, but you know. A celebrity death match with Colin Farrell's the penguin and uh Lee Grossman. Yeah. That could be good. <laughs> That'd be nice. That could be good. That could be good. Um all right. The Very Razzies. Good. Does that wrap it up for us on the Oscars thing? It does. Yeah, I don't think there was anything that was like super crazy. I think they were pretty it's straightforward. I think stuff. after the Golden Globes going right into the Oscars is kind of like a lateral move. Yeah. It was kind of pretty much like the same, the right. same stuff. Let's like razzy it Angela up, Bassett won at the Golden Globes, and now she's nominated. Yeah, at the Oscars. Like I, I looked at. It, I was like, didn't she win this already? Like two for yeah. Like, I, like all right, cool. Like whatever. Like oh, well, much power to her. I hope she wins. Yeah, but whatever. But uh, it was just kind of like I feel like those those award shows are like too close together. Mm. Like maybe we should have one in the summer. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's razzy it up. Let's razzy, get trashy. Razzy. Talk to us. That's about what the show is about. I know very little about this year's Razzies. I saw there I, was some controversy. Be, so people, well, they'll, they'll say fans. I don't understand how you're a fan of something and then you talk bad about it. Yeah. They are displeased with the Razzies and they're saying that they are disrespectful and untasteful. And well, that's exactly what the Razzies are. So like, why like are you girl, upset? Or wasn't there like a girl or something that was nominated and she's like really young? She's 12 and they yeah. nominated her for Worst Actress. Yeah, Kira, which Kira is Kira kind Armstrong. Of, just kind of aggressive. Now that was, that was a little low. I'll say that. Like, But the Razzies are meant as like a joke. But I guess kids don't get jokes. So that's, you know. And the Razzies have faced, I was kind of reading about this. The Razzies have faced this criticism for for many, 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 yeah, many yeah, years. so. That it's distasteful and whatever it is. But, sure. I, but like you're saying, that, that's the point of it. It's the point to be a joke, to be, yeah. you know, like, all right. I think Bryce, Bryce Dallas Howard, uh, Bryce Howard. How, what is her name? Bryce, Bryce Dallas Bryce, Howard. Um, Bryce. Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. Bryce Dallas Howard. That's her yes. name. Yes, I had it right. Is nominated for Worst Actress for, for Jurassic Park. <laughs> like, it's a joke. Like, it's supposed to be a joke. You know, like I'm yeah. sure she got a nomination somewhere else for Best Actress for Jurassic yeah. Park. You know what I mean? I think mean? it can be tough, no, maybe, if, I'm, I don't know, the girl that is, that there is a fuss about right now, the young one. Yeah, she's young, I don't, so I get it. I don't know if she has an established career. Is she well known in other things? Is this her first shot at acting? I don't, the context of it is probably a little important, right? Because if she's 12 years old and this is she like her first big movie, yeah, yeah. she doesn't have anything else and she's being told she's the worst actor ever. It's her first thing. Yeah, so that oh, can wow. be kind of tough, okay. right? Because like, Bryce Dallas no. Howard. Mm, no, it's wait not a minute, Hold thing. on a second. I'm sorry. Does I just, she have other things that are good? It's not. No, she's it's, got it's Firestarter, not. Black Widow. 
So uh, she's in other movies. Yeah, yeah she's nominated she's for in Firestarter. Successful stuff. And she was okay. in Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. Well, all right. I mean, she's, she's in Once Upon a Unicorn. I don't know, man. I mean, uh, in today's, today's culture, today's society, yeah, I get it. I get why it would cause, it would ruffle some feathers, maybe give people a hard time. Sure. Yeah. It's never, it's never an easy thing. But I just, I don't know. She's 12. Maybe yeah, you bump it up. Uh, yeah, maybe you yeah. got to be 16. Or something. Yeah. I'm, I'm it, in my late 30s. I can't, I can't. I can't tell a kid let's how to it, feel about being job. nominated in that type of connotation. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm just kind of like, yo, it's a joke. Like it, it's a joke. Yeah, if she can no, go home, if she, yeah, yeah I can't tell her like how to feel that about that. There are plenty of adults. Yeah, yeah, who could. It rightfully uh, deserve this. Role. Yeah, maybe yeah. we kick the, maybe not. we kick an age limit on it. It's or been something. rescinded. Like they took her out of the yeah. category. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we do something like that. Just yeah, I don't agree I don't with know. that. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you suck, you suck. Wow. Exactly. That's the thing. <laughs> but, but, but if you suck as, as a kid, kid you can't tell you, kids. You deserve yeah, but to like, not be nominated. If something happens, like God, this bug is like really yeah, hanging yeah, out. Yeah, if something stink, happens, stink I don't know. Season, I mean, I don't want to go too far off the rails, but like she gets like yeah, an yeah, eating disorder or something, you. or like goes down a dark hole and you know something crazy. Because she was nominated for worst actress, and she leaves you know a note. No, it was all because of the Razzies or something. I don't know. Like what what happens in that case? I have no idea. She's young. She's a twelve year old kid, and if everybody's yeah, is throwing, right. if everybody's throwing a giant yeah. party because you suck, I can see how that would be damaging as a twelve year old kid. <laughs> that's true. I, you know, that's why I'm saying like maybe you put a little bit of an age limit on it, like sixteen and up. Absolutely, or I absolutely I feel know. like this should be like, strictly for roll, adults. Yeah, roll the strict, number this up. Should be for roll adults. the number up a little bit. People that can can you know have fun with it. Because again, Bryce Dallas Howard, she's very successful. Uh, sh- this yeah. sh- sh- will roll off her shoulders like, and if she, she wins she'll, she'll probably do an Instagram thing saying thank you sure. like what have you like For whatever sure. whatever she's got way she's you know yeah. she's gonna go home and hang her hat up and feel good about herself at the end of the day yeah I, you know, know we've seen that. people win Razzies and been and they have taken it in stride that's right and been like you know whatever it, it is what it is hell yeah um, but yeah I don't know I don't know if a child has the uh, mental dynamic to understand it that so yeah I, I think they did the right thing by taking her off um you know i'm an advocate for tough love but you know whatever so kids are tough these days man they know they're, they're, they're weak, weak. <laughs> yeah, they're weak these days all right uh was that it for the razzy news was there something uh, no i just had, just I, just I, had put, I had put a little i had put a few uh We're gonna get into a battle <laughs> oh there's your opportunity there you go uh Oh, no step on him. It, it's to your left of your chair. How's it left of the chair. Left. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Don't oh, let the, the dog. dog I think it. the dog like sees it. Well, now sees you. I don't I lost it as soon as you plucked it. Hmm. Whatever. Yeah, we'll if we'll it see comes if it comes back. back. Yeah, we'll see what's up. Do they come through your chimney? Uh, I have no idea. Because they, they come through my, like my folks got a chimney. If they come through like their chimney. Though. Yeah, it could not right I now. Mean, they're not. Yeah, it's a. Air, I mean, it's not like an air <laughs> I, and I'm saying you got the fire going, so they're probably like trying to like vent out. Yeah, mm. I don't know, man. It's a great question. Mm. All right, why Sorry, don't we guys. circle back to this uh, this little bottle here for you? Why don't you, seeing how you pick this out, why don't you tell me a little bit about it? I would love want. to hear what you think about this. Yeah, why don't you hit us with the truth? Um, in anticipation, are we? I enjoy it. Okay. okay. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, are you getting? Spicy floral aroma. Let me do another. Let me do another. Oh, you're all out. I think I kind of drank it too fast. Uh, I drank it too fast. Powered through it. Because uh, we, you know, you, you kind of, you know, you Get aroused thirsty. me with the. You're, you're not, not hungover over if you keep drinking. Oh yeah, yeah. With the with the switching up, we're gonna do we're gonna do watch list first and drink and he caught me off guard and I just kind of like got nervous and just pounded it. <clears throat> That's, you know. All right. Well, let's take a second here. Why Damn, you nobody. That's, that's, the, that's what she little... said. Moment. Oh, no. we're trying to not get caught by the algorithm. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't want to. Don't wanna... I haven't cursed yet. Yeah. No, sure. No, no. You're a, a real trooper. No drugs, no mm-hmm. sex, no curses. I mean, you can get a sip of Why water. don't you get a real, get a good smell out. Get a good whiff. Take it in. <laughs> It does have a very floral smell, but it doesn't have a very floral taste. Yeah. If am I right? Like it has a very floral smell, but yeah, it doesn't have a floral taste. It's got that spice though. 
The spice is going to power through, I think, anything that would be yeah. taste floor. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very, very baking spice forward. But it smells good. And it's hard. It's still hard, which is <laughs> it has a hard. He's just asking to get caught by the alcohol. Uh, it's a hard alcohol taste. And that's what I appreciate. Yeah. It has a soft aura with a hard alcohol taste It with a good smell. It's very full. Okay. I enjoy it, man. I enjoy it a lot. So you're here for this one. I'm here for it. They so recommend you, like you pairing it with strong roasted meats or grilled steaks, as I well as Parmesan it. cheese and sweeter desserts to balance the spice. Yeah. So a burger with some I Parmesan get it. cheese. Yeah. I get it. I enjoy it. I think they this mean is good. steak frites is what they mean. Steak frites. Yeah, there you this go. This is That's a winner. Great. This is a winner, I think. Now, yeah. you were surprised that he liked yeah, this. Because it's a little sweet. It's just, it, a, it's just it a little sweet. So it when is. I noticed on the last rye that you didn't like, it was sweet. Yeah, it was very sweet to me. And to me, th- to me, this is sweeter than that one. Really? You think so? Yeah. Okay. So, mm-hmm. like, I don't think this is this is fairly sweet at all. I think this I think is it's just like, like, like much better. Just there you go. There you go. Because this, yeah, the spiciness in this one, along with the floral aroma, balanced that sweetness yeah. out a lot. There's a little more harmony in this bottle. Yeah. yeah. Is that what we're saying? Here we go. Good job, Town Branch. There we go. Good job, Courtney There we Ball. go. Now, Josh. <laughs> Pat on you, the back. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. It seems like everyone's enjoyed it. Yeah, I did. It. Um, okay, great. Yeah, it, right off the bat, I think I I enjoyed it. I really didn't, when I first tasted it, I really didn't pay attention to, there it is. He's back? <laughs> Just, no, you're not. Where'd it go? You're flopping him. You're flopping him. Okay, well, I don't want to catch <laughs> him, though. Just, you realize, like, I'm not trying to make a pet out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Maybe that's what he wants. I, don't know, I think he wants to be a part of the show. <laughs> I don't know where he went. He's seen the good things we're doing here, and well, I just well, wait for him. Give it parts. three minutes. Just and he'll wait be for back. him to come back. Yeah, God. All right, next is gonna get. He'll aggressive. be back. He'll be back if he doesn't come over here. Oh, it's on. It's there. It's is. right behind you on your chair. There he crawling is. up. Smash it. <laughs> Not smash it. Yo, there it is. Dead. Damn. He's dead. Definitely oh. dead. 100% dead. I'm well, looking at him right now. There goes I'm pe- so impressed by <laughs> He just kept coming back. He definitely went down on your he right down and then showed up the top up, yeah. yeah, he like went around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Well, there goes our PETA sponsorship. I can't catch a break around here. All right. <laughs> Do they care about bugs? I don't know if they really care that. about, you know, other animals. Either. The size of the bug. Like sometimes. Never mind. <laughs> I know there's a big good spider. Call. Never mind. There's a good. There's a big spider community. They don't want you killing spiders. Yeah. Out here, I will. Never mind. That's yeah. Uh huh. Murder of spiders. <laughs> I'll say this. Cold blood. The uh, I'll, I'm more likely to kill like a house centipede than a spider, only because spiders tend to help keep the other bugs away. True. Is I spiders, also don't want to take the chance. Is spiders on our list? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Great. Do you know, you know the cute little f- furry ones, like those tiny ones? No. The brown, like the brown recluse? No, that's... Adorable. Oh, way different. Dangerous. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> those are dangerous. Dangerous. no, no, no. I don't know These are like spider. tiny, they're like tiny and gray, and they're furry. They're yeah, very yeah, fuzzy. I, I know what you're Josh, talking about. Josh, you can yeah, pull the picture yeah, of this. Small yeah. furry spider is the Google yeah, search yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah those, um, show, hmm. give him a little shot I don't, of this. I, I don't know what you're going for here. We got several. Okay, see that? Yeah, right. yeah, 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 those. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, uh, that. Mm, go up. These. This is as up as they go. second one down. That with the on the hand finger, background. On the hand finger, background. yeah. There you go. That right there, that yeah. little dude. Yeah. So I had one of those. Ah, that's a pet. Jumping spider. Not as a pet. Gray fuzzy. But he was. He lived on the top of this doorway right here, and I work right there. And oh. every day for like a couple of weeks, I would chill with him, and he was like super cute and very curious, and so never. That's where you lost me. Like, he just, like, hung out and chilled, like, on the thing. Like, he would just hang out there. And, like, he would just come out in the morning. You you know, I knew exactly where he was going at the end of the day. We had you, like a little relationship. Didn't bother each other. No. Yeah, my no, wife no, no, no. My wife is telling me to get him out of here. He was, like, I'm not, he was, like, super There's small. Very super little. Super yeah. small. And nah. he wasn't fast moving. He kind of, like, just, you know, did his thing. And I don't know. I don't know where he is now. He took off. But 
I let him let him hang, and he was around for quite some time. Anyway, yeah, if it's bigger than like, oh no, there's there's my spiders pinky nail that he's got to go that I will massacre. <laughs> but then we've also got tarantulas, which are huge but very yeah. generally harmless. Yeah, but yeah. it's not about that. It's, it's, it's about not about the harm you can cause me. It's about the fear you can put in my heart. That you yeah. might be yeah, harming me. I get that. Yeah, and I, I got to establish dominance. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, I get yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I think we had an experience once with Your a spider toxic in the back. humanity. It was moving too fast and I had to kill it. Yeah. Too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, too I don't like those either. Yeah. yeah. I've we the pond out back. It yeah. spiders. You don't know what's gonna happen. You yeah, know what it's spiders, gonna do. Spiders, it, yeah. it, I think it attracts spiders. I could be wrong. But no. I've, there's some some mm. there's some. You ever got any boys. snakes in there? Yeah. Not mm. in the pond, but they but like around the house. Yep, 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 yep. Didn't somebody yeet a frog at some point? Do I have this memory? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeet. Yeah, <laughs> our, our, uh, someone yeet a George frog. did. George, oh, George did. Georgie okay. boy, All right, that's he right. yeeted a that's frog. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. He took it and threw like halfway across the yard. I don't yeet. know what came over him. <laughs> I don't know what came over him. It was a real weird moment of violence. <laughs> Just yeah. instantaneous violence. Oh my god! I, I just love that. That's the 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 word for like yeah throwing something. I'm sure that. the frog is okay. It so landed he, in like the grass. It's not like it hit a wall, just, but still, ye- what a time! Love it. What a time! That's not the fate of the spiders. I can tell you that. No, nah, you can't eat a spider. No, not yeah, out back. Immediately, no, they bad. love that. <laughs> just come right back again. <laughs> Do it. I said, Hi, I attached the web to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> now. Let's take a shot at this news list. Um, oh, gosh. We probably are not going to be able to get through the whole thing. Oh, because, it's slammed with random. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. Are there any highlights? I feel like if we touch on, I mean, there we could go. probably touch on things. I'll put it around. Just, yeah, do it. Put it around. I mean, James Gunn's cat has got to be a quick one. You're going to have to keep us moving. Yeah, James, Con- James Gunn's cat. I know nothing about this. He posted a picture. This is this is much kind of in vain to uh, Michael Bay shooting the pigeon. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, That's hearsay. <laughs> it's out. Allegedly. Allegedly shot the pigeon. We don't even know if he had a gun. <laughs> I don't. Uh, you know, that's a better question, right? Why would he have had the gun? Yeah, I don't. I don't believe that. Um, but it's Italy. All right, guys. Italian job. Uh, we got to keep yep. on track. Keep here. going. There we go. See. All right. Yeah. Yep. Keep us on. Um, uh, James Gunn posted a picture of, of cat. his cat, and then somebody. <laughs> Post Picture somebody yep. jumped in the comments and was like, Would you I'm like a, to read some ba- it? basically, you know, F that cat. <laughs> F that cat, you ruined DC Studios. <laughs> and I don't even think he started really. Right. And then he replied, you know, you, you ruined DC Studios by getting rid of Henry Cavill. Oh. And then F your cat, dude. You pissed off an entire franchise. We're the fans. Nobody gives a rat's ass about your cat. <laughs> Hashtag Cavill spelled wrong is Clark. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and then James Gunn responded with, "If you're gonna be so angry about, you know, my recasting of the studio or the actor, at least spell his name right." And then he like went on to like just answer people in the comments. I guess he just was feeling good that day, and someone asked him about future of DC, and he said, "The first slate of movies will be coming very, very, very the the first like mm, uh, yeah, lineup lineup will be you know announced, announced very 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 soon. So cool. good for him, man. Good for him. Great, yeah. I love it. He's out there making it happen. Yep. Um, um, moving on, we got uh, Jeremy Renner's legs. Oh, uh, he kept his legs. Yeah, he's got his legs. Uh, I think he broke thirty bones. Thirty was bones. the report. Thirty bones yeah. broken, which is a lot. Yes. And some more information came out about the incident. Yeah. I think he was trying to save like his nephew or something. Salute to him, man. Hero on there and off the kid, court, man. Mm-hmm. I think it was a nephew. He was trying to like he's save for and some yeah, yeah, accident like, incident. Um, as he, as he but yeah, anyway, like pushed him out of the way or something like that. Yeah. Got hit by the just. But real, we saw the pictures of his legs. It seems like you know he might walk again. Who knows? Yeah, hopefully. I hope that that's you know, you pretty know, good. pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. All right. Where are we at? Sorry, Justin Roiland. Who? Nope. Not doing so hot. Rick and Morty. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. So I. <laughs> that guy. I am like. I've seen a little bit of Rick and Morty. I'm, I'm not, big Rick and Morty. I'm not fan. big Rick and Morty. Not because I dislike it. I just haven't gotten through all of it. Oh, okay. So I'm not as familiar with this person. 
Um, My stepson and I share an affinity. It was like some assault or something like that that he was. Yep. Domestic abuse from 2020. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'm guessing it just doesn't look good. Like whatever happened, I don't have any insight into the charges or the situation, but apparently it didn't look good. And uh, Cartoon Network, uh, Adult Swim, it's not Cartoon Network, it's Adult Swim. They're separate now, right? It's a great question. I don't know. Um, that's my bad. Um, <clears throat> what is, while you're searching for that mm-hmm. or looking that up, what is his relation to the show? Is he the creator, creator the writer? and the voice of Rick and Morty. Correct. He does both uh, voices. Yeah. Oh. Which is, I I thought it was two different people. Like, if you listen Wild. to him, yeah, it's crazy. So this is a pretty big... Uh, yeah, it's a pretty big... Pretty yeah. big shakeup. And uh, so, you know, there was a lot of just kind of talk on, uh, because they've been renewed till season 10. And they're mm. they're only on six, so it's like how are they? Damn. And Adult Swim posted something on Instagram like you know we unfortunately had to you know part ways with Justin Roiland, but don't worry, Rick and Morty will continue something like that. Jeez. Yeah, and uh, it's just tough because it's like you know it's like Jerry Seinfeld walking away from Seinfeld. Like, yeah, that's weird. You know, and the show still that's weird. I'm or, not sure how that works. Or Roseanne getting fired on Roseanne. They gotta yeah. continue the show. Yeah, you know stuff like that. So damn. Wild. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't think it's good for Rick and Morty. Like he's the brain. Yeah, no, it. that's got to yeah. be a death sentence yeah. to an extent. Yeah, he's know. also got uh, two other projects: Solar Opposites and Koala Man. That Uh-oh. they said they'll continue production, <sighs> despite rough. Yep, rough. All right. Uh, Netflix expects more subscriber loss because of the shared passwords. Yes. Mm-hmm. Duh. Yeah, <laughs> which, <laughs> which they did much better than they were at. You know, right. forecasted to do at the last earnings call. Yeah, because right? you said that the earnings call. Was I knew come that out the earnings week. call yeah. was coming out, and they were not thinking that it was going to be uh, super rad. positive. Yeah, right. And but, I think they beat the street by almost double. I think in subscriber. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. Let me double check that. that up. Yeah. I I'm just, not sure. I don't know, man. Like, I think it's a it's a double edged sword, right? Because if people are sharing passwords, they're not subscribing. But if people are sharing passwords, that means people are watching the content. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to cut those people off who are sharing the pass, you know, shut off the uh, the peripheral people, not the account holders, then how you're definitely going to see a drop in viewership. I think you kind of take that. I mean, I guess it's kind of the cost of doing business, like You're the other streamings. That yeah. the people that get cut off are going to sign up for themselves and get their own. Uh-huh. That's the play. I mean, that's what they're hoping for. Most of the time, this is a, you know, and we've talked about this before. Like, I pay the Netflix, you know, for my family, my mom and my aunt. They use yeah. mine. They are account holders, so we're not sharing passwords. Yeah. Um, but you know, I don't give a, I don't give a a rat's ass if my mom shares the password with yeah and I bet you they will let I think that they will let you continue to do that you are just going to have to pay an additional fee to have that now it's like you'll be able to purchase the amount of streams you can have at any given time or something like that so you know what is that fee I don't know it can't be something crazy like well it's not going to be equal to what a subscription would cost but my point is is like you'll be able to buy five dollars more a month, to Two, do like two ninety nine a month extra okay. for each, you know, external household or external whatever, like additional person. They'll just if that if they want to keep streaming, like it, they'll just make you pay add on. I'm guessing. I don't know that. I heard that they were like trying some stuff like that, but now that's from, sorry, Josh, go ahead. From October last year, yeah, uh, it was reporting that they were trialing two ninety nine additional per additional household yeah. using mm. one account. So that's odd. Uh, I mean, yeah, because I have. How many know, people do you have wheezing off your Netflix? Well, well, not well. It's again, like I, you know, in this situation, like I pay for it. I have my household where I am. My mom has another house, and my who my mom has an account, and my aunt she has her own house, has not yeah. an account but like a a profile. Sure. So it's just like. 
Oh, yes, but they see that as three households that could be paying right. each for their own subscription. Yeah, and 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 this kind of reminds me of like Comcast, Verizon, really all of the ISPs do this, where it's in their terms and conditions that you can't let your neighbor use your Wi-Fi, as yeah. an example. Correct. Okay. It costs them nothing to Absolutely. for that to happen. Yeah, but they know that there's an opportunity to make money if they can charge yeah. both households Correct. for that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Got it. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Listen, also, and I Josh, this is a tough one. Who's your Who's your cellular provider? AT and T. Josh, do, you got, do, 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 do. You got, yeah, T-Mobile. you and I both have T Mobile. Do you get Netflix through T Mobile? No, I do. So my Netflix is free essentially. Yeah. So I'm wondering. I think I pay. I get the I get the premium 4K, whatever, whatever, uh, the, like the top tier one, and when they did the price increase, now I pay like. Five ninety nine. Right, you pay the difference. I pay the yep. difference, and I I'm imagine fine. you would just pay now. The yeah. 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 yeah, so now it's probably going to be ten dollars, eighty five dollars. Yeah. How many houses? Yeah. How many households? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Fuck. Depends on the amount of households. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. That's odd, man. It's like a scheduling <laughs> calendar he shares with the neighborhood. All right, I'm gonna use it between seven twenty one and seven sixty. You know. Yeah, it's wild, but. Yeah, mm, I mean, they got to they trying to figure something out. I don't know. All right, Power Rangers. Oy. What's that? You never a Power Ranger? Um, I was I think when I was a Small young time. kid, I had a Power Ranger phase. It was short-lived though. Uh-huh. I think I dressed up as one maybe for Halloween one year. I'm still in it. You still got the costume? In the costume? Yeah. Wait. Are you actually white under there? <laughs> 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 I'm the Black Ranger, but I take this off. <laughs> so, Jackson. what is this? <laughs> what is this Power Ranger? Oh news? man, they're, they're doing a thirty-year special on Netflix, and this is of what of Power Rangers, like just of the culmination of. Like, so they're just, but like, are they going to bring the cast together? Yeah, they're doing it's all like a special. So, you know, they span thirty years of different rosters, yeah, mm-hmm. of Rangers, and they're bringing them all together as many as they can get. Yeah, and it's really on pulse on par of. I don't know if you are familiar, but Jason David Frank, the the he's more uh, infamously known as the Green Ranger and the White Ranger, uh, passed away due to. Um, Self transition is that the, that's the correct word? Yeah, uh, I want to say like a month or two ago, and now they're doing this thirty year special, and it's kind of like I think half of it is like they're actually going to do like a show, like a like a show with all of the Rangers together, and how they are still like being Power Rangers. So this is like a documentary kind of thing. It's not like a no, no, no. It's, all the Power Rangers are together and we're all fighting. No, yeah, it is. Oh, it is as adults. Yeah, yeah. So they're all going to come back as the Power Ranger that they as were. who they. Were. So there's going to be like 15 Pink Rangers. I, yeah, probably. Yeah, and they're whoever all, they can get. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be like a Power Ranger army. I hope so. Yeah, and they're battling. Awesome. Something. Essentially, yeah. That, I don't know be, what it's about. It hasn't come out yet. Okay. Uh, I saw this uh, like. A week ago, and then there was an update today that they're going to do a special part of it for Jason David Frank. Well, that's what that two ninety nine a month is going to pay for the Power Rangers special. Yeah. So, is it worth it? I for the Power Rangers special, yeah, because yeah. I'm definitely okay. watch it. Then yeah. pay up. Yeah, I what's think the, I still got some Power Rangers. What's the problem? What's next on this list? I still got Power Rangers VHS VHS announced. I have a Green Ranger DVD still in the plastic. I won't open it. Well. One day that's going to be worth about what that plastic's worth. About seven bucks. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yep. Get if that you're on lucky, e, baby. Uh, really excited about this one. Veep reboot. I, I don't know about I'll this. I put that on there for I you. I love Veep. Oh, <laughs> so good. Uh, Julie Lewis Dreyfus commented on her possible return for the reboot. In a reboot, in the sense that they're just they're redoing the show from like. Start like starting it over. I think or it's too early. It back up? Yeah, I don't. I think it's too early to to really identify what it's going to be. But yeah, um, there are apparently they are. It's it's hit the ground. Like they're in pre production. Like trying to figure, figure it out. out. And I she was asked. It's it's in enough of pre production for uh, insiders to ask her. Yeah, are you returning for it? And she's like, abs- you know, I absolutely would return. Sure. 
it, I don't know in what capacity. I don't know. I haven't been contacted yet, but yeah. I, I would absolutely do it. Gotcha. I, and if it's a new cast, new cast, I'm all for it, and I'm all for her like coming back in some capacity. Yeah, I would like for her to be president. And then it kind of, you know, drop in every once in a while. I love Julie Louis uh, so Dreyfus. So yeah, I never saw a Veep. Oh, so oh, it's pitch, good. It's pitch really it good. It's yeah. really good. the yeah. basic setup here is Julie Louis Dreyfus plays the vice president. <laughs> yeah, to a president whom she ran against, and then yeah. was picked as the vice president when she had to drop mm-hmm. out of the race. And it basically shows how. She just gets the shit jobs and the shit, you know, yeah. responsibilities. So it's a comedy. And, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a funny. Absolutely. It's yeah. definitely a comedy. Okay, yeah. but is, is it like more of a comedy or is it like a dramedy kind of no. thing? No, no, no. It's, it's all funny. Straight it's up, all funny. All straight up funny. We're having a good time. Yeah, it's it's, okay. it's straight yeah. up a comedy. Um, and this is on HBO. Yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. Very good watch. It's kind of in in vain of of like how like curb your enthusiasm type of humor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, it's created by Armando Inucci who did, um, I can't remember what the, uh, the thick of it is the inspiration yeah. for V mm-hmm. the British show. Uh, but he did a bunch of other things that I can't remember off the top, but very, very funny show. Check it out. Very yeah. quick. The writing is so quick witted and mm-hmm. it, you remind me so of good. her personal, like of her chief of staff, like the guy, what's his name? Um, which one? She her 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 number one. Um, are you talking about Mike? Yes, her, her communications <laughs> yes, director, yes, the, the yes, guy. Yes, 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 yeah, yep, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. It's a good watch. It's very funny. I'll check it out. And I think at one point, like Curb Your Enthusiasm and Veep were like they had the same block, so you could watch one and then jump right to and right Curb into the next. Yeah. All right. Speaking of Curb, is coming back for season twelve. Yeah, it's crazy. I saw that. I saw. That. I started watching that, and I, oh and it just it, it's so difficult. Like I, I couldn't get through. It's bad, and I know that it's one of those it's, shows it's that you've got to get through the first yeah. few seasons, and then, and then it finds its groove. But I go and I'll watch an episode, and then I'm like, all right, let me do the next. And the next night, I'll do the next one. Like, I can't do this, and it'll be like six weeks. And I'm like, I should go back, and it just doesn't work out. It, it's one of those things you had to catch early because now you're in season twelve. Like yeah, they're like twenty five minute watches. But you're in season 12 and you really got to get through the chunk of it to understand all of the story. How, like Leon, Leon doesn't come until like season like five or six, but then he's a mainstay. Mm. And so you're turning into, you know, the show to watch this old white guy. And why does he have this black roommate? <laughs> like, So it's like one of those things you got to go back and like watch and like figure out like why he's still here. And it's it's just for crazy. me, it's, it's kind of like... um. Arrested Development. Yes. In that. In that. Yes. So yes. I love Arrested Development. Great show. The problem that I had with Arrested Development is that every episode is based around the same situation where one person doesn't communicate with the other person and then blah, blah, blah <laughs> happens as a result of it, right? Yeah. It, Larry always finds himself the ass of a joke because he made a bad joke that somebody didn't get somewhere. Exactly, like, yeah. That's always it is tough the thing. It's so bad. It's, <laughs> it's always a bad joke. You know, like... He wears a MAGA hat so people won't talk to him. You know, like stuff like that. Like he figures out like, (laughs) oh, people won't talk to me if I wear a MAGA hat. And, you know, and then he had to go like he did that episode and then he had to go and explain it because people didn't get the joke. Yep. He's like, if you don't get, you know, F you because that's what it's about. Like, we don't want to talk to you people. I'm doing this as a F you to the culture, like whatever, whatever. But it's just like those type of things. Like you yeah. got to be yeah, in, in, inept and kind of like follow it to, to get. But really dark humor. I love it. I love when he cut the little girl, the doll hair. And the scene. I'm sorry. I'm, we're, we're going too far. Yeah, into no, this. But when he gives the kid the sewing machine way early on in like season four. Larry, I love it. I love it, Larry. It's great. It's so it's like a sewing machine. And then she and then the kid makes him a swastika pillow. So bad. So bad. Are you trying to say? Are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, Alec Baldwin, changing gears. Oh, way to go. Yep. Down a- Dark hole. We can talk about Carol Baskin's husband if you want. <laughs> I mean, if you pick one, there's two uh, left. Uh, so Alec is being charged with manslaughter. Yeah, involuntary. Right? Yeah, from stemming from 
the shooting on that movie <clears throat> set. Rust. Yeah. Rust. Mm-hmm. Which I think they should have just scrapped, but they just went ahead and finished it. And I don't I think, think they finished it. I think it is scrapped. Not they're not they, putting they, that out. Didn't they go back to well, production? Well, they might not put it out now, but because it, definitely, the husband, it definitely did go back into production. Yeah, I think the husband like stepped in to finish it Correct. for her. Yeah. Correct. And I think, I think part of this is to get damages for the family in some part. Like that's what I, I that's gotcha. my theory. But uh, yeah. And I, well, they can go after the production company for that or other people. I mean, there's other people. Alec Baldwin is not in my... And I'm, I am, I am, you know, not, you know, whatever, whatever. I just, if the facts are, I don't believe he is. I don't know because manslaughter is like, I'm not a legal professional, but like, you know, manslaughter is, you know, it was an, it was an accident. You didn't intend to do it. Yeah. And you know, he has to have a tight defense because he was given the handgun. That was used. Yeah, so, so I think the like yeah. I think they call it the master of arms, the person that basically is responsible for the weapons right, that are yeah. on set. I think he also is being charged. Oh wow! Yes. Wow, I thought it was just and Alec. Think, and I again, not a legal person at all, but I would suspect that he's probably more at fault. Um, I would I would think Alec probably. It's kind of a victim of him not being I would being think he probably gets out of this one, and I would think the other guy probably does not. I mean, it is his responsibility. Is, ah, that's my understanding. Yeah. Like, he is the one that is supposed to be, you know, making sure that this doesn't happen. Yeah. And there were, bu- like, real bullets should have never even never been. Never been in the fire to begin like, with. They shouldn't have been, like, there, there yeah. period. Yeah. And they, I think... I think whoever it was was again the guy that's like running the show there from like the weapons perspective. I think he mm-hmm. was teaching some people how to shoot, or they had like a little like range that like on the brakes. They like were they like would, they would actually fire some right, guns, yeah. um, and that is like a huge no no yeah no no because again bullets something like this can happen yeah and yeah here we are. So I think again I don't know. I would guess though that he probably takes the fall for this as opposed to Baldwin, but who knows? I mean we'll see. Yeah, so yeah, we'll um, lawyers for the film production company announced Friday that the film would be finished and that Baldwin would still star in this in the film I after he was after it was announced the charges were filed. I, I was him. I don't even quote finish this movie. Quote yeah. uh, operations will include quote on set safety supervisors, union crew members, and will bar any use of working weapons or any ammunition. My gosh. Hmm. All right, so the last piece was the Carol Baskin thing. <laughs> this is crazy. I was something brought me to Carol. Ba- I've, I haven't seen any of the that silly show, but something brought me so to good. Carol Baskin last two nights ago, and I went down a rabbit hole of her husband, and now it's here in the yeah. show notes. So, can you confirm? You has this been confirmed? They found her husband. No, that's the, that's the crazy part. Okay, they didn't so that's find him. all right. That's what I had read as of two days ago. So they have she not said found him. she hasn't been in contact with the FBI to confirm this. So but who she, is this person claiming she's to be the husband? one saying that he's still alive? Oh, oh, she's trying. Oh, oh so she's saying he's alive. Yes, <laughs> she feels like she found it's him. Her. That's why it's funny. Yes. <sighs> Quote: Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Um, oh no! She killed him. And she now found she's him on Facebook. This up. is a this is you know a, a statement she's released. She says that uh, her missing ex husband was found alive in Costa Rica. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but the discovery is just now going viral over a year later. So apparently, no, absolutely. Oh, not. I remember when bogus. she said yeah. that the first time, and nobody took her seriously. This yeah, bogus. because she yeah. was around when the doc when the doc her documentary came out. Yeah. Nah. Okay. Yeah, she's covering. Yeah. It up. So on a, on this a British cover-up. morning show. Last in November 21, she alleged that her ex husband uh, was found um, in Costa Rica. Well, she always believed that he was in Costa Rica, so yeah. there must be some evidence that she come, came across, or she's making it up, right. or she's making it up. But you also got to remember the theories out there that she's on the hook for feeding him to a tiger. Yeah, she's yes. that crazy, for sure, man. For sure, yeah. Which is, you know, I don't I know, think, it's yeah, possible. That's what she did. I think so. Who knows? But she's not presented the evidence. That leads her to believe she found him. Oh yeah, because there is none. Okay, so this is she's just telling. She's people. just making this oh, up. Yeah. Well, yeah. So she she's trying to cover her tracks. And if he go. is alive in Costa Rica, why hasn't he perfect, come out and said this, this is a perfect play for him? Yeah. No mm. one has to know I'm here because no one will believe her. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. Why would he just go to Costa Rica? It's not bad. 
I mean, people do crazy stuff all the time. All right. That's it, man. That's 45. 45 in the bag. Unless there's anything else on that list. I think we're all wrapped up, though. I think we're good. Yeah. We came to the end of it. I think we did good. We made it. I don't know if you cussed at all. I didn't. I don't think any of Anybody us did. did. No, no, you did. Yeah, it was you. I, I did? did? Yeah. You did? You guys are talking about Veep. I did? No. He did. Josh, Josh did? Josh did. I don't know. I went right over me. I did Bunch of, as, bunch, bunch Maybe of I listen. I'm fine to admit I think that it's I did. Fine. I have no art. I have no problem. Yeah, I think we're too late in that. Accepting anyway. that. No, I just I didn't even pick up on it. Yeah. Anyway, dang. Out of here there. Huh. We are here. Dang. Well, see how passionate I am about it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> show. Here's the next week. We'll see what happens. Yeah.